In this Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial that's suitable for CS3 and CS4, I'm showing you how to make magic pan windows with images behind that have a magic pan effect to them, with a nice easing on it. And we show you how to make it have an event listener for activating it and deactivating it. So when the user's mouse goes onto the image, you can see this whole white section is the flash file and our magic window is just on a little portion of it so when the user's mouse goes onto it it activates the magic panning when the user's mouse exits that it stops it that way if you had menu systems or whatever over here it wouldn't interfere with it because a lot of people might want to stick this application on a full flash website and you can using this one and so we have a an activator which causes everything to start panning and stop panning and we also have a mask that's masking the big pick that's why you can only see a certain portion of it and we have the big pick that's sitting under the mask and that's how it works we'll have this uh, source file available free at developphp.com under the flash section and so you can go ahead and download it and watch the video if you need any insight in how to or insight on how to manipulate it change the size of this thing size of your big picks whatever you need to do okay let's rock and roll I'm working in flash CS3 but you can work in flash CS4 for this and all the code will still apply open a new flash action script 3 project and let's see first thing we're gonna do is drag in a picture from our desktop you can drag pictures straight into the flash stage or you can go and import them through the file menu here okay let's put this at coordinates of 0 x and y 0 as well and convert it right click it right click the image on stage convert to symbol movie clip call it big pick highlight that instance name and copy it or that name in the library that we just named it and give it an instance name here in the properties inspector where you give things instance name right there pop the instance name in so that way you can connect to it through the code it's at coordinates of 0 and 0 that's good so we're gonna right click it now and convert to symbol we're converting to a movie clip and we're gonna call it the whole magic window and the reason why I'm nesting it into a movie clip is so it can be a little more useful to you guys who use things in full flash websites or you can use just a little SWF on an HTML website just throw it on the page okay so now we have a movie clip let's dig inside that movie clip now by double clicking it and now you can see inside the movie clip there's big pick the original movie clip we made and gave an instance name so now we're inside the whole magic window movie clip let's make two more layers on top let's call this one AS3 the one under it we're gonna call activator because that's where we're gonna put our little activator movie clip and this one we're gonna call big pick because that's where the big pick resides <clears throat> now let's make a little activator window let's see first we gotta make sure we see the size of our the image that we want to pan it's 8 by 8 800 by 800 and you'll want to have nice even coordinates like that or nice even dimensions but it doesn't have to be square let's see let's make this let's just make this 400 by 400 exactly half the size okay so now we have a little window let's make that a little more white that way we can see what's going on now that little window that activator let's press control X get it off of that put it on the activator layer where it should be control shift V paste it back in place now let's right click that convert to symbol name it activator in the library copy that name okay now give it an instance name here activator so now we have activator with an instance name there and big pick with an instance name on it as well now we all we have to do is pop the code in on this layer and we'll see the magic happen 
Okay, I'm going to highlight that keyframe, press F9, open the Actions panel, and pop in my script. And now let's press Control Enter to see what we have. Okay, that's perfect. It has a nice ease animation as it goes through. And we're not going to see anything that's on the sides over here. And I scripted it in such a way so when I added event listeners to make it activate when the mouse goes over the activator window and when the mouse leaves the activator window it uh, it stops panning. Only when it's over that. That way if you had other elements over here inside of your flash file it wouldn't interfere. Okay so let's see some adjustments we can make now because that's what people will most ask for is how to modify this thing. Um, moving this if you wanted to move this off of the corner you could do so press control enter and you can see that it's activated and still makes everything snap to the corners and it's still activating exactly the way it should even though it's not at the top center of the file but your picture here your big picture has to be at the top left corner this can be anywhere you want See. All right, what else would people want to know how to do? Change the size of this activator window. And I'm going to show you guys how to mask in a second, but that really shouldn't come till you're all set up and you have everything the way you want it, then you mask it. So let's go ahead in the activator window, let's go ahead and let's say you've moved it around on stage and you want this really to be 200 and not 400. I'm going to stick with even numbers divisible or that can be divided by the 800 easily so now we have 200 that's 800 now let's press control enter and see what happens you can see it's off there's no worries you want to fix that you can just go up here and change this to times 2 to times 4 now with it being times 4 you press control enter and now there you go now it sticks to the corners like it should. That way they can zoom and pan around the whole image. It would be just in that little tiny square. Okay, so that takes care of resizing it, moving it. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring that back to 2. Bring this back to 400. And what else would people want to know? Ah, yes. Let's say your image was not square. What you could do is, whatever aspect ratio your image is, just make sure this little window matches it. So let's say this was, instead of 800 by 800, it was 800 by 600, a 4 by 3 ratio. You can just make this 400 by 300. So if this is 4 by 3, that's 8 by 6 it'll all match up nice and still act accordingly act the way it should the script holds true or the script uh, still does its job even if it's a different aspect ratio so let's say this was 400 just make sure this is 200 and everything will still work right that way you can modify and shape these things any way you need to place them shape them okay now let me show you how to mask this thing let's put that back to 400 take this one back to 800 okay now once you're all set up and you have it where you want it inside of your flash file you can right here above big pick put a new layer grab that activator press control C now make it to where you lock the activator layer and you can't see it either now in this new layer 4 here let's call this mask right there you just pop in control shift V to paste in place so it's in the exact same position as your activator window okay now you just right click click mask and it's going to make a mask out of that layer 
so you see you can only see that little piece that it masked of the big pick now let's bring our activator window back into where we can see it and let's press control enter looky there that's what you want that way you can have a menu system over here all kind of cool stuff or you can have a menu system inside the, the window that moves around or whatever and now just to uh, for the activator window you would just want to make sure that you can't see it all that well so you go up to alpha zero and there you go and then you can make a pretty little border around it any way you like now let's see since it's its own movie clip back in scene one you can move that sucker around anywhere you want and it will still perform correctly so that's why I nested it into a movie clip so there you go everything you need okay now I'm gonna explain the script very quickly what we do first is we uh, access some numbers that we need in the equations down here in the script we create variables out of those numbers that we need to attain for all lines 2 through 8 and the last one is the easing speed the easing speed is applied right here you can change this number and you'll see your easing uh, effect change okay now remember I changed my 2 to a 4 during the lesson that was to make sure that if I happen to want to move my activator window around on top of big of big pick that everything would stick and then you have to adjust the math for the size remember I was just making uh, if my big pick was 800 my my activator was 400 my big pick was 400 my activator was 200 you know what I mean but you can adjust the math there for that too and I know what I said is just confusing you just disregard what I said and go by what I showed you earlier in the video <laughs> but basically after we get those numbers and I'm not gonna explain how to do math you should have stayed in school if you want to understand how to do math because these are simple equations that you should have learned in high school uh, and all we're doing is using variables so uh, there's three functions the first function is activate second one is add enter frame event and the third one is remove enter frame event and the reason why we have an add enter frame event and a remove enter frame event function that way we can make the functionality and the logic we need to where when their mouse goes over it it activates and when their mouse leaves the activator movie clip it stops it and that's why we have two event listeners here as well these two event listeners fire off these two functions so these two event listeners are for activating and deactivating the magic panning and uh, inside of this function activate is really where all the movement occurs so you set some variables here that really you can't set these variables up top here because they have to be inside of this on enter frame event and really this function is running in the on enter frame event so we have to make sure these are dynamic variables so that's why we claim them inside here because they're always changing depending on where the user's mouse is and depending on where the big pick is in relation to the activator and right here the 16 and 17 is where the movement actually occurs according to these equations here and that's how it works but basically the script would not need to be modified uh, really what you would do mostly is modify is set up your sizing correctly and everything to match nice okay we'll see you next lesson we'll have this source file available free at developphp.com in the flash tab in the flash section